Hi, welcome to the 3D Pen Den. Not so long ago, I published a cube making video. Four ways to make a cube. The link is in the description. That one inspired the whole series on the platonic solids, which include the cube, the icosahedron, the dodecahedron, the octahedron, and the tetrahedron. So let's look at the cube again from the perspective of how it fits into the platonic solids group. I know what you're thinking. What do you mean hexahedron? Weren't we supposed to talk about the cube? Hexahedron is a shape with six faces. And while all cubes are hexahedra, not all hexahedra are cubes. In fact, we have all kinds of hexahedra applicants. All saying, I have six faces, pick me. And this is not even all of them. So the question arises, what are we looking for in order to qualify for the platonic solid group? Well, first of all, the faces have to be all the same shape and size. Let's look at our applicants. First up, pentagonal pyramid. Five triangles and one pentagon. That won't work. Rhombohedron. Rhombohedron has a rhombus, as the name suggests. Actually, two of them. And also a bunch of rectangles. That won't work. Hemicube. I know it sounds like I'm making some of this up, but it is actually a thing. It's a cube cut on a diagonal. One square, two triangles, and two whatevers. That won't work either. Rectangular prism. Sometimes called cuboid. All rectangles, but different sizes. Such a useful shape. Too bad. Now, here is a promising applicant. Triangular die pyramid. This one looks like it could qualify. Six identical equilateral triangles. And already has relatives in the platonic solids family. Tetrahedron made of four an octahedron made of eight of the same equilateral triangles. So how is six triangles not included if four and eight are? This one is hard to understand. Triangular day pyramid is, as the name suggests, made of two triangular pyramids, which could be, if they are both regular, two tetrahedrons. Here is a connected version, made without the division in the middle. Now, here's the rub. In order to be a platonic solid, not only the faces have to be all the same, but also the dihedral angles. And here at the top are those acute angles of 70 degrees I was complaining about in the tetrahedron video. And all of a sudden, here in the middle, we have an obviously obtuse angle of something like 140 degrees. Such a fun shape, but won't qualify. So our little cube wins and gets to be a part of the platonic solids. Cube is one of the easiest shapes to make, with six square faces, and most importantly, the dihedral angle of 90 degrees, which is the simplest angle to make. There are many ways to make a cube, from just winging it or using 3D Mate Matte or bridging downward or making sturdy many layered cubes. All these methods we have discussed before, including this one that uses turntable with a central axis to keep things organized and precise. 
But since there are always more ways to do the same thing, here is another method that is super easy and uses almost no other equipment. So you can literally make a cube the moment you take your pen out of the box it came in, with the box it came in, or with any square object you can find around the house. Because, as opposed to most other angles, 90 degree angles are abundant. I will be using piece of one and a half inch square dowel because random pieces of wood is what's available around my house. Use a square pattern so all your squares are the same size. Remember that was the requirement. And use a good adhesive surface to help you keep the project in place until you decide to take it off. There are some videos on good surfaces linked in the description. When the first square is cold enough to take off without deforming, do it. Tape it to the right angle maker of your choice. And keep going from the original square onto the work surface. And this time you need to make only three sides to make the second square. Once you have the faces one and two joined, you have a three-dimensional object and you can abandon your right angle maker and just continue adding faces onto what you already have. This time it will take only two lines to complete the square. still have to tape the project down to stay aligned with the pattern, so your squares remain the same. One line to go. And we are done. One of the advantages of the rolling method is that you always work on solid ground, which makes it possible to create curved lines if your design requires it. But we have already covered this in the four ways to make a cube video. What I would like to talk about in this one is that this method works well for all these shapes that didn't make the cut to get into the platonic solids club. And more. They don't even have to have six sides. This one has five and this one seven. Both extremely useful shapes. That means you can now make not just the platonic solids but pretty much anything with these methods. Yeah, your pattern may need to get a bit more complex and occasionally you might need the angle support tool if the angles of your project are not all right. The link on how to make that one is in the description. 
and consider. You can cut parts of the shapes off, as in truncation, and get more shapes. Or extend them out, as in stellation. Yes, you can make practically anything. So until next time, go and make something!